not just a regular Wednesday, today is Earth Day, and it marks the 50th Earth Day. The Cleveland Metro Parks invites all of us to celebrate from home as we're self-quarantining and staying safe at home. Connie Hausman joins us live with some tips right now on how we can celebrate Mother Earth and, of course, what we can do today in talking about trees. Thank you, Connie, for being with us today. It's so Good great morning. to see you out and about in nature. I bet you feel fantastic. With the sun shining right now, I do feel fantastic. I you know it's a little bit cool, a little brisk. It's a great day to be out in the parks. Oh, it looks great. So talk about how trees are such an important role, play such an important role in what we're celebrating today with Earth Day. Well, trees are, are special. And they're important to our parks. They're important to our forest habitat. But they're also important to our yard. Um, aesthetically, they make us feel good. They provide great resources for, for wildlife, for food. Um, for shade to read a book under, uh, as well as ecosystem services and, and carbon sequestration. They play really important roles, um, helping conserve our energy uses when they're in pl planted uh, yards. Um, and so it's the whole gamut of, of feel good uh, trees, as well as providing energy savings when they're planted in our house. So beneficial. So how can you tell if the trees are healthy in your yard? Um, in the last year and a half, I had to have a lot taken down because they were starting to look a little old and I was concerned that they could blow into the house, which of course you don't want to. So you should do a good check of your trees, but what are some tips on that, Connie? Good question. Now the perfect time of year to be able to get outside and start looking at all of your trees. Um, right as they're starting to leaf out, it's a, it's a good look at the whole structure. And if you've got a mature tree in your yard, uh, especially with all the rain that we've had, the wind and the storm that we've had, you're going to want to look for any damage that might be up in your tree can. Um, and anything that, that stands out to you is a little bit unusual uh, from a safety context um, because you're going to want to have that thing repaired. And so there are certified arborists that you can call in to help you with the big trees. If you're finding any damage to your branches or, or issues or stress uh, or disease, to keep those healthy. On younger trees or lower branches, you can take out your pruners or loppers and try to trim some of those areas to, to mitigate that stress. Um, and now's a good time to be getting out your mulch, uh, thinking about making sure that, that you uh, are well mulched for the season. Great advice. All right, so what are some good trees that do well in Northeast Ohio yards? I recently transplanted some buckeye trees from my great grandfather's yard that we've been seedling for many, many years, and they're doing very well. So, what are some other good hardy trees? The best trees that you're going to want to plant are our those are the tree species that are locally adapted. They're used to our rather strange and unusual climate. Um, and so there's a variety of trees that you can use, right? So uh, small trees such as our American and popcorn beams are really great yard trees. Uh, Service tree, um, our, our red buds are nice, uh, beautiful blooming. Flowering dogwood is beautiful in the spring as it first blooms. And then we got really big trees that offer a great shade. And so tulip poplar and our wild black cherry uh, and our oak trees are really great uh, shade trees mm. and wild uh, trees as well. Oh, some great ones there that you just mentioned. We know life is so much different now than, than it has been for all of us. And we, you have always done at the Metro Park some wonderful ways to celebrate Mother Earth and Earth Day, and especially at the zoo and all of those places. How are we celebrating Earth Day at the Metro Parks this year? We know it's going to be much different, but you do still have great things for people and resources. We do, and we hope that everybody joins us on Facebook Live today, all throughout the day. And you'll see our executive director, Zimmerman. Um, we've got programs uh, to be able to help celebrate today. Even though you can't join us, um, for large groups, we hope that you get out into the parks and enjoy your time and enjoy Facebook Live throughout the day. Boy, a lot of great information there. Thanks so much. You have inspired me now to get some more trees and, and start replanting. Thank you so much. I love it. trees. I love everybody else. They're my favorite. Oh, that's great. Connie, thank you so much at the Metro Parks. Tell everyone we said hi and we miss you all dearly. And thank you for still doing the great programs, especially online and virtually for all of our kids that are home. So make sure you check that out. They always have great resources going on there at the Metro Parks.